Good morning, dear students. Today we are going to learn a beautiful poem by Robert Frost. The title of the poem is "The Road Not Taken." So beautiful, right? So before we start going depth into the topic, so I just would like to say something about Robert Lee Frost. So we could see that Robert Lee Frost has lived in between. 1874 to 1963, and this first the poem first published in 1916, Mountain Interval in the Mountain Interval. So now, uh, when we take the poem, so we should see where the setting is. So the poem has set in the Elo Woods. So here, dear students, uh, the poet has used different poetic devices in this poem. So now the setting is Elo Woods, that it is a symbolic event. So now, before we go into the poem, I just would like to talk about the poetic devices that are used by the poet. Amazing. So now, imagery. So what is imagery? So the poet has visually described everything, the setting, how it all, how the roads diverge and all. So as if it's a painting in front of our eyes. So the technique that the poet used in this poem, uh, in this poem, like the device what the poet has used is imagery that is painting the picture vividly in front of us. So now let us take the another device that is personification. What is personification? So, so giving life or you know, let us take uh, assigning the qualities of a human being to a non-living thing. Like you know, we could see that many references that were there in the poem by the poet by giving the humanist qualities to the leaves and all like which they were not born and all. So uh, these things will help us to understand more about the poem and. Uh, the next important device that the poet used is repetition. So repetition of certain words. So in the poem gives us to emphasize what the poet would like to say. So we could see the choice many more times he would be talking like two two roles diverse at a point. So in this way he he focuses he emphasizes on the agency and the decision making skills and the possibilities the choices and the agencies what a person has to take in his life. And the next important device is symbolism. So as I said in the starting, the yellow woods and all, we have many symbols in the poem. So now let, let us take like the spring which he starts the poem. So is all about rebirth. So that is uh, new life or new beginnings we could say. So like if, even we can say the rebirth and fresh beginnings and even the spring symbolizes time of youth. So in this way uh, nicely the poet depicted different pictures in this poem. And we could see the time. So autumn season is described. So which is nothing but the time to take important decisions. And the symbols itself speaks about the youth, the time of youth. And that is the main important phase in our life, dear students, to take decisions in our life. And this poem is very, very important for all of you, dear students, because it helps us how to take decisions in real life situations. So now uh, we could see that uh, the roads, so as, as the, even I have been telling about the roads that were diverged, so the roads are nothing but uh, that represents the different situations in our life where we need to take decisions. So students, we cannot take two decisions at a time. Or for example, let us take uh, one similar example in our life. So taking mechanical and taking CSE. So what would you choose? If once you go for that, you cannot come back and take again CSE or something else. So what you have chosen, you should be stick to that. So then there is no fair chance of coming back and you know traveling on this side even so this is what the poet has tried to explain while we take some of the decisions important decisions in our life so now um, 
the end of the road he he he, he depicts about the end of the road at a certain point of time so where you know the poet couldn't see the end of the road which we can see in the lines in the scenes that you know the poet cannot see the future of the road like we cannot see the future of what what it will be when you take a certain decision at the same way when the poet peeps and looks at the road till the end he couldn't see because he cannot predict what will happen by the end and the significance so and it's nothing but you know the point is uh, you know and confusion so he is not decision he cannot take decision at the point of time like because the two roads diverged and he couldn't take a stand and he is totally in confusion like uh, what road he takes but let me tell you dear students uh, the it's uh, when we talk about the theme of the poem it is not about only the roads what the poet is confused to take uh, but it represents the journey of life it represents the journey of one's life it's not simply about the roads what the poet is confused to take okay but um, it's the journey of life so now uh, the two represents the two roads represents a person's life dear students in many situations we need to take so many decisions in our lives so and some people will regret after some time that uh, i could have selected the other one so we regret many times but uh, serious students as i told like uh, so you know, we may not get the privilege of going back again and choosing what we have left but let me tell you dear students the main opinion or you know the main theme of the poem is to you know to do the best with what we have chosen so this is what uh, the main theme of the poem is so and let us take up uh, the narrator's choice if you take uh, the the topic the narrator's choice like the uh, you know he will be selecting he will be choosing one of the roads uh, which he has seen uh, in the two roads so this shows us this represents the different decisions that we take in our life as i have been telling you dear students like uh, uh, in many of the cases in real life situations uh, so whatever we choose we need to stick to it so uh, with our uh, you know commitment and dedication and you know with our goals so we can definitely reach what we want uh, with the decision what we have taken students so many a time people will regret thinking that you know they haven't chosen well but yes students uh, as i have been telling you we may not get the privilege to come back again that's what the poet says in the poem that But, uh, sometimes he may think that you know he may be getting time to come back and go on or choose the other road but later on he regrets and uh, he says that uh, he cannot do it so at the same way in the same way dear students uh, i just would like to tell you that uh, we may not get the privilege to come back or get back and choose the other road so what to do so whatever we have chosen we need to stick to that and we need to make the best of what we choose so this is what i just would like to tell so uh, choosing the best path also refers to our personality so whatever the road we choose it signifies our lives dear students it represents what kind of personality we are so students have you understood what i am trying to say so we are talking about uh, uh, the main themes of the poem so that is nothing but the journey of life where the poet has used different poetic devices like imagery personification repetition symbolism uh, all these things the poet has used to give a nice picture and setting of the poem and also to tell us the important things of decision making skills in our real life situation so it is not all about the roads what to choose but dear students it is about the life what he wants to say us the journey of life what the poet wanted to stress on so shall we move ahead with the poem dear students have you all understood what i have been saying about the poetic devices about the setting and the theme the significance of the poem and all is it okay 
so why let us move into the poem i just would like to read this uh, uh, poem for you dear students so two roads diverged in an yellow wood so here we are talking about this yellow woods where the setting of the poem is done so now we could see that uh, we could see that and sorry i could not travel both as i have been telling you dear students because the person is only one he cannot travel on both the roads it's very very difficult so and it is not even possible in reality in the journey of life to travel on both the roads so and let me tell you and he once uh, and he one uh, sorry and be one traveler long i stood and looked down one as far as i could to where it bent in the undergrowth so now the poet what he has done he sorry so he has stood there and bent over there and has been looking down where it ends but dear students is it possible to see the other end of the road so it symbolizes that you know we cannot predict the future and we cannot see what future will be so this is what the meaning of these lines are so now uh, we could see that <clears throat> so uh, we could see the anxiety uh, here uh, you know like where he would be bending down and looking uh, so to see the end of the road but uh, unfortunately it is not uh, it hasn't happened and we could see then took the other as just as fair so and having perhaps the other so the better clean because it was grassy and wanted well so dear students what he has chosen so here agency he, the poet is talking about the agency so where he has given like he could he can take uh, the choice so he can select something out of the two so when he was there in the fork of the road so now the poet should choose uh, one of the roads in order to make his journey so now now what he is doing so he has chosen the best of that so whenever we choose anything students definitely will think and will select which is the better one so the same thing the poet even has chosen here it is nothing but you know choosing the grassy one so so which is which wanted a wear so now we could see how the poet has used the, the poetic devices of personification like you know the leaves so he has compared to a human being like a, it wanted a wear like you know they were not trodden by the feet or the you know and they wanted someone you know as a, some wear to the leaves so how beautifully he has explained though though as for that the passing day so had warned them really about the same so now and both that morning equally lay and leaves no steps had trodden black so now we could see when the poet moves on some some area of that he could notice that both the roads were the same so uh, both the roads were the same so earlier we would choose like you know so like maybe this is better we may choose it but let me tell you we have our own problems in the decisions what we take so dear students life is not a bed of roses we have so many problems so many decisions we should make so it's not easy so the same thing the poet here uh, says in this uh, in this lines so now oh i kept the first one for another day yet knowing how way leads on to way i doubted if i should ever come back so now the poet so he has thinking that one fine morning he'll come back and travel on the other road what he has left so but when he moves ahead when he moves ahead and goes forward he he thinks that maybe it is difficult for him to come back one day and move or you know take the other road so definitely dear students it is very very difficult to come back and to travel the other road so we should be very very careful in choosing or taking decision so we should use our agency in a very very good way so the choice we should use and we should be very careful in taking decisions so this is what the poet here wanted to emphasize dear students so and now we could say that i shall be telling this with a sigh so 
somewhere ages and ages hence two roads diverged in a wood and i took the one less traveled by and that has made all the difference so now dear students every road will have an end so every road will have a goal and everyone will be having a goal and each decision will make us to reach somewhere so this is what i would like to say whatever the road you choose so you will be you'll be going to your destination so dear students we life is not a bed of roses as i have been telling you so we should do uh, the best with what we choose so this is what uh, the poet tried to say so have you understood students what i am trying to say so the poet has beautifully pictured about uh, you know the road not taken so now let me tell you dear students whatever the road you have taken don't